today we have a audi 3.0 tfsi engine used from uh, 2010 2011 and up on the q7 a7 uh, we're gonna show you how the timing chain works on this car um so pretty much to set it in time well to make sure you're in time um on the intake exhaust there is there's a mark right there and that mark has to be between this edge right here as long as it's in between that when you're uh as long as it's between there you're good uh, other side the exhaust side there's a dot right there and that dot same thing's got to be somewhere in between this ledge between here and here ours is right at the edge but that's fine um one calculation you could do is where the dot is now, if we move it over two lengths, then we're gonna go past the edge. So this is the best place we could have it. So we know this side's good. Um, on the other side, it's the same exact process. You got the intake cam mark here. It lines up with a groove. And you have the dot here it lines up with the groove. This one's also right at the edge, but if you do the math, if it's right at this chain link now. So if we were to move this over here, it would be right past it. So this is the best place that could be as well. Um, as far as the crank goes, to make sure you're on the right crank revolution on this pulley here, stick a screwdriver. If your screwdriver goes all the way in, then you're good. If it doesn't go all the way in, if you're not at the right crank rotation, you're either pretty much gonna be down here and the screwdriver won't be able to go in this hole or you're gonna be up and good. To double check your timing, there's these. You mount up on the camshaft, these two bolts right here. As long as these line up, You should be able to loosely tighten them. Same thing with this side. There you go. Um, also another indicator that your crank is good. There's a pinhole here where you install this lock. Uh, you can check to make sure that pinhole if you look through it, you see it's at the right position. If you move the crank, I'll show you what that looks like. So we'll take these off so you can move the crank. The tool to also move the crank came with the timing tool set. Okay, so we move this. This is what that looks like now. There you go. Doesn't look the same. This is it. 